So here's a quick recap just of the uh, get up and swing workout that we did today that can be either your A day or B day as I explained in the previous video. So we're starting off with our get up and we're just doing the setup for the get up first. So fetal position, stacked right on top of the arm. My right hand is holding the bell, my left hand is gonna cover that. I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna set my legs so the kettlebell side leg stays bent. The other leg straightens out. They're both away from center a few degrees. My free hand is also away from center, kind of parallel to this leg or maybe a little bit higher up. Crush the grip, big belly breath and floor press. And now I'm in my start position. Our first set, you'll go back and forth from one side to the other, just stacking, rolling, set the legs in the free hand, make sure this left wrist stays unbroken as you floor press, back down, roll, and come around to the other side. So that's the first set. You're gonna do five uh, of just the setup, switch, repeat. In the, uh, and then a set of 10 to 15 swings, something ballistic to kind of keep the body uh, moving in uh, contrast to all of this slow grindy get up work that we're doing. In the second set of get ups, you're going to turn up to the elbow and you're going to do four of these per side. So it's stack, roll, set, big air, floor press, push through the bent legs heel, pull through the free arm. Remember that post uh, visualization that we've got there and turn the body. I've got my eyes at least peripherally on the bell still at this point. When I come back down, I'm gonna push off of that post and let my back sort of curl a little bit to come back down to the floor. Elbow to floor, cover, roll, switch. Stack, roll, set, Big air, press, push, pull, turn. Eyes still on the bell even though I'm looking at the camera right now. Push back off of that post, curl, and back down. On that set, it's four on each side and then another set of swings. The next phase is just adding coming up to the palm. Roll, set press, push, pull, turn, and then boom, up to that hand. And that hand might move around a little bit, but remember we're just sitting nice and tall. Back down to the elbow, back down to the back. You'll do three of those on each side, and then another set of swings. The fourth set of get up work, we're gonna go up to the windmill and this is the most sort of crucial point of the get up push pull turn up to the palm and then you're sweeping this leg through first by bending it and then drawing it through and here you can really see how everything in my body other than this supporting leg is all in one plane so i kind of disappear into this plane back out to a sit down to the elbow down to the back. Now this one's starting to get tough. We only do two reps of that on each side and another set of swings. And then finally, we're getting all the way up. Roll, set, press, push, pull, turn, up to the palm, bend the leg and sweep through, hinge, sit up. This is another way to do this. You can actually swivel the front leg around so that you're then in your lunge position. Big belly breath, push up to full height, throw it in reverse, down with control, soft landing, swivel, hinge, and place the hand, sit back out, down to the elbow, down to the back, elbow to floor, roll, just one on each side, and then another set of swings. So that's the uh, get up workout, that's your B workout, um, I'll send these along. Let me know if you have any questions, particularly about the programming. Uh, sometimes I feel like my uh, nomenclature can be a little weird uh, on the programming. So 
Uh, hopefully it makes sense. Um, and I will see you next Thursday if I don't hear from you sooner. Thank you, Jessica.